Okay, so, so far, um, hope I'm not confusing you too much. I'm thinking about even making another video series called the Simple uh, Example Video Series, and you'll see it in, a, in an annotation. I don't know, I'll stick it, um, let's see, right? I'll stick the annotation here, and you'll be able to click that link or something. And I'll give you simpler examples of what I'm doing on this interface project. So, we have our huge integer implementer class let's go ahead and cr just create an object might as well right so I'm going to go into my main class and start my main method public look, public static void main string and args I believe that's the syntax and got our block awesome so now we're going to take huge integer I'm going to make a huge integer object. So huge integer object. It's going to be a new. And here, this is uh, the initializing value um, that you would have. You would have maybe a one or something. Now that gives me a red X because I haven't created the constructor yet. So let's go ahead and create the constructor. So just for the constructor alone, I'm imagining a bunch of things that I have to do. First of all, I'm going to store whatever number they're going to give me in a character array. So let me go ahead and start that. Private car um, digit car array. Let's see. What else am I going to need? I'm going to need to keep track of how long this character array is because I just uh, want to keep a, a variable keeping track of that. So length of car array and also note that uh, when I'm writing this um, I'm capitalizing these letters it's called the camel method um, don't know if you're familiar with that can I zoom to the let's see if camp studios are compatible oh uh, yeah we'll zoomed in method all right live zoom in method awesome so uh, by the way I'm using a, a program called zoom it to do to do these magical zooms so just in case you were wondering all right so here private int length of character and let's see we're going to probably need another one that I used in uh, oh to keep track of whether it's positive or negative so I'm going to use you can use a character for that you know the plus character or the negative character but I, I choose to use an integer and whether it's positive or negative um, so sign of car array and actually I'm going to even initialize as positive as a default because um, when you stick in a number without the positive or negative sign in front of it it's just going to be positive it's a uh, standard so now we got our private variables there and also uh, I'm going to use a, a set method uh, I'll stick it uh, in, in the bottom uh, behind all these uh, huge integers and the string methods and everything that comes from the interface so this is going to be a pri private set let's see digit character array digit care array give that method oh that's supposed to be one word and this will be um, let's see this will be a void we're not returning anything so that works out and let's see what are we going to have here how, how am I doing on time five minutes awesome so let's do our constructor now that's the most important part so uh, we're going to use the constructor to initialize our object so implement a class um, make it public of course so everyone can see it um, and yes it's going to accept values in fact we're going to overload this method in fact, we're going to have multiple ones, so I might as well copy and paste this over and over again. So, um, there, and I'll have that there. And you will have to input something. Either a long, or let's see, um, an int. And you're going to see I'm going to do something extremely crude that programmers are, are going to want to vomit, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do something really, really crude. And uh, let's go ahead and also stick in a double. Why not? 
integer and double. All right. So, in terms of how crude I'm going to be here, and also I'm just going to have a uh, a uh, another method here. It's going to be a normal method, but I'm going to call it the constructor implementer method and this I'm going to have it accept one string uh, parameter so what I'm going to do which uh, is uh, I think maybe what programmers would consider crude is I'm going to make everything that comes in here an integer and provide it as a parameter so I'm going to take this i and I'm going to turn it, uh, let's see, to string, or am I, am I confusing a visual basic here? Let's see, yes I am. Um, trying to remember, uh, uh, oh, it's, let me try to remember the syntax momentarily. Okay, so where was I? Yes, we were looking at the constructor implementer method. Well, uh, and yeah, this constructor implementer method, and I'm taking all of these overloaded uh, constructors here, and I'm just putting in, I'm taking this variable, and I'm turning it into a string. So the syntax for that is string dot, and you'll see all of these come up, and to convert it to a string, use the value of um, method here. And then uh, you provide in there i, or, or whatever uh, variable you call it. And you see it's valid. So in fact, uh, I think I can even copy this over and over again. So let's go ahead, stick that there, stick that there. Uh, and no need to turn a string into a string, so we could just call it normally. And. Uh, works perfect so far so now in this constructor method I'm going to go ahead and take this string I'm going to call another method <laughs> yeah I, I just like calling method after method after method so I'm going to call this method set digit character array because that's probably like the, the first thing that we'll probably want to do so set digit character array and uh, it'll, I'll overload this method to probably, no, no, I'll have it uh, take a string. So I'll take i, and uh, I think I might have to join you in a, well, I've got some time left. So let's uh, collapse everything we've done so far. So we have all of these going to the constructor, and now we have the set digit character array which is where we can actually finally do some real coding so let's see I think we're going to use a for loop for this because we're going to take um, whatever's whatever's given to us and stick it in the character array so let's see let's enter a for loop open the block we're going to have a counter of some type uh, let's see I got a minute left alright uh, actually let's do this in the next video so we're right here about to finally set this digit character array which will hold the main number so that's it for this video